So in our second example here, we have to find the arc sine of the sine of 2 pi over 3, and then some similar values for arc cosine and arc tangent. So the first thing to do here is really to figure out where we are on the unit circle. There's 0, pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi. So let's figure out where each of these angles is on the unit circle. Uh, sine, well, 2 pi over 3 is over here. There's 2 pi over 3. And remember, arc sine is always between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. Arc sine is between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. So there's negative pi over 2 down here. We want to find an angle between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. So on the right hand side, that has the same sign as 2 pi over 3. Well, sine is the y value. So we want something that has the same y value as 2 pi over 3. So that angle right there has the same y coordinate as 2 pi over 3. That's pi over 3. So from the graph, we see that pi over 3 has the same sine as sine of 2 pi over 3. So arc sine of sine of 2 pi over 3 is pi over 3. It's an angle whose sine is the sine of 2 pi over 3. Let's try the next one. Negative 5 pi over 6. Well, Negative pi is over there, so 5 pi over 6 in the negative direction puts you over there. There's negative 5 pi over 6. Negative 5 pi over 6. We want an angle whose cosine is the same as the cosine of negative 5 pi over 6. Cosine is the x value. So we want an angle that has the same x value as the one we just found. And there it is right there, 5 pi over 6. And that's between 0 and pi, which is the range for the arc cosine function. It's always between 0 and pi. So. That means that arc cosine of the cosine of negative 5 pi over 6 is 5 pi over 6. That's an angle between 0 and pi that has the right cosine. Finally, we want to find the arc tangent of tangent of 3 pi over 4. 3 pi over 4 is over there. So there's 3 pi over 4. We want to find an angle that has the same tangent as that one. And remember, arc tangent is forced to be between pi over 2 and negative pi over 2. So we want to find an angle between negative pi over 2 and negative pi over 2 that has the same tangent as 3 pi over 4. Well, if we go straight across the origin there, we started with an angle whose cosine is negative and sine is positive. This angle right here has a positive cosine and negative sine. So it'll end up having the same tangent, and that angle is negative pi over 4.
That's an angle inside the range we want that has the same tangent. So arc tangent of tangent of 3 pi over 4 is negative pi over 4. So those are really quite tricky. What we're being asked to do here in each case is we're given an angle, for example, 2 pi over 3. We want to find arc sine of sine of 2 pi over 3. So we look at the sine of 2 pi over 3, and then we want to find another angle that has that sine, but it has to be in the specified range for arc sine. So we're really trying to find what's an angle between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2 whose sine is the same as sine of 2 pi over 3. And that's why we did this traversal to find the angle pi over 3 that has the same sign as the sign of 2 pi over 3. And so that was kind of the same process in all three of them, finding angles that have the same cosine as negative 5 pi over 6, but is in the specified range, finding an angle that has the same tangent as 3 pi over 4, but is in the specified